Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. I'm your Chief Jonka and this is episode 1 of the Handsome Hanseatic Hustlers multiplayer series. Now I'm in single player right now um, simply because I had technical difficulties which caused me to completely lose um, my first episode and also affected the second, third and fourth episode on my part and um, I'm already sorry for that uh, but I will talk about that later in the video. Um, for now I just want to use this first episode of mine to give you kind of an introduction to what we are actually doing and we're, what we're trying to do with this series. Now who is we you might ask? Um, for, for, one, well, for, for one it's obviously me, Chief Chironka and uh, I'm joined by three other uh, YouTubers and the first uh, one is Paradox Gamer and uh, in the game he's called Paradox of Fun Paradox. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna talk about the characters later, just wanna see. The other the other guy is Burton, um, and the third guy is NG Paradox, uh, and his character is called Parry of Docs. Now, um, yeah, what do I wanna talk about in this episode? I kinda wanna give you an introduction and also want to go over the rules that may not have been very clear in the first episode. Um, so we started in the year 1241, so actually the bookmark that we started is called uh, The Rise of the Hansa and we are playing as patricians of this merchant league, of the merchant league of the Hansa and um, we decided that it might be best for everyone or the fairest or yeah, it would be fair if actually the AI would be the Prince Mayor or the first Prince Mayor and from that point on we will obviously, we four plus the AI will try to become Prince Mayors ourselves because that's just really the best position you can have in um, in this Merchant Republic. Now the first person, I'm gonna go over the characters, so Paradox, uh, Paradox Gamer um, he has a lovely cross as a coat of arms uh, he, is, he has a seduction focus, oh really? Interesting, and uh, he wants to become the spy master, but I uh, can't spoil you that much. Oh, I'm actually not gonna spoil it. Um, he is a elusive shadow. He is quick, a master schemer, lustful, patient, cynical, and cruel. Um, oh, I should mention at this point. Sorry about this. It's a little confusing. Um, I should mention that the characters we uh, picked, uh, the, the traits we picked, we try to we try to base that on ourselves. Right, so we try to uh, our real like our real personalities in real life. So um, yeah, so we we, we try to um, make ourselves at least at the first person. Now paradox right here, he actually made a little mistake. He wanted to pick scholar instead of instead of cruel. So he actually made that mistake. Um, but you know it's not too bad. So he's a cruel man. He already uh, owes some money to the Jewish moneylenders, but I think every one of us did that. Alright, moving on, the next one in line would be, oh actually, and how old was he? He was pro probably, no, he's the second oldest, he's 43 years old. And uh, we made it so that uh, each one of us um, has starts with a son, just so that if we die, we would have an heir. And this turned out to be actually quite useful. Um, Alright, second one in line would be Burton. Uh, he is a 46 year old, he's the oldest, uh, he has a nice mustache, and he's uh, ugly but quick honest, cynical, drunkard, who is also wounded. Uh, it's quite sad. Um, yeah, he picked the business focus, which makes sense for a hustler, or a merchant, so to speak. And um, yeah, the third person in line is Parry Dox, also referred to as NG in game, although I tend to mix up the names, the character names and their channel names, which is confusing, I know. But uh, I think you can follow that through if you pay attention. Um, now he is actually, he also wants to become Spy Master and has Intrigue Focus. Uh, he's a charismatic negotiator, 40 years old, so slightly older, uh, slightly younger than Paradox Gamer. And uh, he's also a Master Schemer, he's proud, deceitful, gregarious, ambitious, and cynical. Um, and he, as you can see, he's also inviting, he's already started, so we've been we've been in the game for like two months uh, once I got this save file and uh, yeah, he already uh, tried to invite me to a plot and um, you know, 
I uh, declined that one. But nevertheless, he is really intriguing a uh, lot. Now, last but not least, my own character. Um, I am Patrician Chief of Juranka, obviously. Um, I have picked the seduction focus because that's just the most fun. And um, yeah, I'm a flamboyant schemer myself. Uh, I'm a legitimized bastard. Uh, there you go. Um, simply because, you know, my, my parents have never married, so there you go. I'm lustful, slothful at the same time. Um, I'm temperate, envious, patient, proud. I'm proud that I'm all that. I'm also very just, um, cynical, and paranoid. And paranoid mostly because I'm playing a multiplayer game in Creative Kings 2 uh, with other players, and they all try to kill me. So, of course I'm paranoid. Um, yeah, and I also owe money to the Jews. We all do that. Um, my son is it actually has a terrible name. I hate that you cannot change that name, um, but you know, uh, I eventually will get hopefully another kid so I can rename it and make him my heir and kind of drop this kid. So what has been going on? Um, what are the goals? Now we have no real goal as uh, this this multiplayer is more about fun. Um, you know, we kind of want to play around with the Republican mechanics. Um, I myself have played quite some time as Republics. Um, I believe Paradox has never played a Republic before and he has not really, uh, he has not even played Crusader Kings 2 a lot. Whereas Burton and um, NG, they have been playing a lot of uh, Crusader Kings, especially the, uh, what's it called, uh, Game of Thrones mod. Uh, but they have not really had that much experience with um, merchant republics or with republics in general. Um, yeah. Uh, so what happens is there is uh, always an election. So the, um, there's a prince mayor, uh, as it called, for the Hansa, who is the overlord over all the patricians. There are five patrician families in in a merchant league, and the overlord is the current prince mayor. And now he, on on upon death of the current mayor, uh, a next one is elected. And you can see um, you're elected. By respect. Now, respect is uh, comes from the age. So, age factor is the is the you know the, the huge bonus, um, but also your prestige affects on how much respect you overall, how much uh, yeah over overall respect you have. But there's also another thing which is called campaign found. Now, if you if you spend money right here, you see how my respect goes up, right? It's quite significant actually if you if you, if you look at it. I don't have any more money. But, so now my respect is even higher than the one of um, NG, right? So if I would lower that, now he would become, he has more respect than I do. So it's very significant, but the funny thing is that um, you cannot see how much money the other players put into their campaign fund. So that's, it really makes it uh, very interesting because um, you're going to lose this money. Once an election is over, this money in here, whoever has funds, whoever has funded this campaign, the money is gone. Either like either you become elected or you don't, but the money is definitely gone. So you really want to put in a lot of money um, to make sure you become elected, but you're also going to lose a lot of money. So it's really uh, yeah, quite interesting. Um, also, there's going to be a lot of intrigues, as you can see already. Um, a lot of things going on. It's hopefully going to be very interesting. And uh, so it's really just about playing around a little bit. Uh, we, have all, we do have one rule, though, that we... We as players will not kill off an entire family. Like for example, um, we could kill Larry right now, I believe, um, but we cannot kill his his child. Or at the moment, we could not kill his child just because that would be his only heir. And now, if Larry would die or Burton by that matter, um, he would have no heir and he would be out of the game. So we're not allowed to kill his kid nor him at the moment. I think that's pretty fair because you know it's about fun. As I said, um, but we do have an, you know, kind of a co-op goal that we want to achieve playing together, and that's essentially we want to break free from the Holy Roman Empire because currently we are, the Hansa is under the rule of the Holy Roman Empire, Kaiser Friedrich the Second, and um, so we want to break free eventually, but we're not strong enough yet, so we'll have to wait until we are a little stronger. Um, what else? Uh, unique to Republics is that you have certain trade posts, as you can see here. Um, you can see this kind of overview where you can see all the trade posts that people have, but there's also a map mode 
First of all, the Republic trade zone, which is the these are the trade zones of the Hansa. And there you can see the trade zones of Pisa, Venice, and Genoa. Those are other republics in the game. And um, we're the only one in the north, which is quite good. But if you click on the family trade zones, and if you click on the Hansa, you can actually see which family owns which parts of the world. So you can see Burton over here owns this these, this region, then the family of Docs, this one, then Paradox, really small font, owns this area, I own this one over here, and the AI owns this area. So you can kind of see who has the most influence in, like for example, I have the most influence in the Bight of Hanu, or however you pronounce that. Um, so yeah. And uh, that's actually the main source of money. And at the same time, we have only one holding as a as a patrician. And this holding is the so-called House Jiranka, or, you know, whatever your name is. And it's a palace. And you can upgrade this palace, and it gives you unique bonuses. For example, the catacombs, uh, they give you mar one martial point, give you fertility and monthly piety. So there's a lot of good stuff, but they're also very expensive, as you can see. Um, so this game is all about the money. And uh, it's going to be fun, hopefully. Um, what did I miss? I think that pretty much wraps it up uh, about what I wanted to talk about. Oh, right. I wanted to show the uh, uh, trade things. So, unfortunately, uh, for me, um, the guys over here, because we we didn't start like from the, f like the first start, so we started like in the middle of the game, and uh, so... Paradox actually owns three trade posts, so does um, NG. Now, Burton and me, we only have two trade posts, and they're actually quite terrible if you look at how much money they make. Uh, so I have a little bit of a harder start date, uh, start position. Just want to uh, tell that uh, to you so you know that's so much harder for me. No, it's just, it's, it doesn't really matter too much, but just want to point it out. Uh, we all get to uh, build four trade posts, um, and uh, I'm currently, it says 4 out of 4, but you can only see 2, because I'm currently building 2 trade posts right here. Just to get the uh, control in this uh, C tile. Um, yeah, I think that pretty much uh, covers all that I wanted to talk about. Um, uh, and now I'm just gonna tell you, uh, you know, what, uh, what the, what was causing the technical difficulties. Now, uh, unfortunately, as you noticed uh, the first episode was completely lost so if we haven't really covered that much time because we're also kind of introducing ourselves but if you and you certainly probably want to see that uh, so you might as well check out the other guys channels for the first uh, episode and also I am putting out uh, the second third and fourth episode however it's a very low quality due to um, me having some technical difficulties, which is unfortunate, but I'm trying to get um, the quality back to the normal standard of my videos um, in the fifth episode, and then from then on it should work quite well. Uh, we'll see how, how it goes, um, but uh, I'm, I'm pretty confident then that it will work out later. Um, so be sure to check out uh, their channels as well, and uh, yeah, I hope to see you in the next video. It's Drew Dranka, signing off.